Hi, I'm Koji Hashimoto, the director of living donor liver transplantation at Cleveland Clinic. I believe many of you are not familiar with living donor liver transplantation. So the goal of this video to help you understand the importance of living donor liver transplantation and also to explain the differences between living donor liver transplantation and disease donor liver transplantation. In the next few slides, I will be explaining why we need living donor liver transplantation. Because of donor shortage, we don't have enough deceased donors to transplant all patients in the United States. For example, in 2016, approximately 14,000 people were waiting for liver transplantation, but only 8,000 patients received the liver transplantation, and unfortunately, many patients died or became too sick before transplantation. In deceased donor liver transplantation, a new liver will come from a donor suffering from brain death or cardiac death. On the transplant waiting list, the priority to receive a deceased donor liver transplant will be determined by your MERDO score. Therefore, your waiting time is potentially long and you may become too sick before transplantation. In the last 10 years, MERDO score to receive a deceased donor liver transplantation at Cleveland Clinic has been rising. In 2018, the average MERDO score to receive a transplant was around 28, which means when your MERDO score is greater than 25, you have a good chance to receive a liver transplantation. However, when your MERDO score is less than 20, you are unlikely to receive a transplant from a deceased donor, and potentially you have to wait until your MERDO score increases. Even if your MERDO score is low, you may suffer from major complications of your liver failure. You may have ascites, which is fluid built up in your abdomen. You may also have confusion or mental status change due to high ammonia. To reduce ammonia in your blood, you may be taking lactulose. You may also have enlarged veins in your esophagus and stomach, which increase the risk of catastrophic bleeding. Even when you suffer from these life-threatening complications of your liver disease, they do not increase your MERDO score. From 2012 to 2016, more than 1,000 patients were listed for liver transplantation at Cleveland Clinic. This slide shows the risk of mortality on the waiting list based on MERDO score during this time period. As you can see, many patients did not make it to transplant regardless of MERDO score. Importantly, about 20% of patients died or became too sick if MERDO score was less than 15. Living donor liver transplantation is a potential solution for this problem. In living donor liver transplantation, a new liver will come from a healthy person. This can be your family, friend, or someone you have never met. In living donor liver transplantation, MERDO score does not determine the priority for transplant because a liver from your living donor directly comes to you. Importantly, because waiting time is usually short, you can receive a transplant while you are in a relatively good shape. However, healthy living donors have to undergo a major surgery. Because the liver is a unique organ that can regenerate, partial liver can work as a unit and grow back to its original size. Left lateral segment, which is about 15 to 25 percent of the whole liver, is usually used for small children. For adult patients, we usually take left lobe or right lobe, which is 30 to 40 percent or 60 to 70 percent of the liver. 
The decision for graft type will be determined based on your medical condition and the size of the donor liver. In addition to shorter waiting time and timely transplant before you become too sick, there are more benefits in living donor liver transplantation. Generally, a liver from a living donor lasts longer than a liver from a deceased donor. Because this is an elective surgery, your transplant can be scheduled on a convenient day for both you and your donor. This slide shows a result from American multi-center study called A2All study group. If you have a potential living donor, you have better survival chance regardless of your MELDO score compared to waiting for deceased donor liver transplantation. Living donor liver transplantation can help you receive life-saving transplant before you get to the point where a transplant is no longer the option for you. Who can be a living donor? Living donor must have unselfish desire to save someone's life. Paying someone to obtain a transplant organ is illegal. There must be no financial gain for living donation. Blood type has to be compatible or identical. For example, if you have a blood type A, your living donor has to have blood type A or O. In extreme circumstances, incompatible blood type can be considered. Donor age has to be between 18 and 55. When a recipient is a small child, donor age can go up to 60. A donor has to be mentally and physically healthy without major illnesses, including liver diseases. There are significant risks on living donors. Because living donation is a major surgery, we need to understand there are real risks during and after surgery. There are potential risks of bleeding, pain, bile leak, infection, blood clot, and incisional hernia. Importantly, liver failure and death can happen on living donors. Because donor safety is our top priority, we conduct comprehensive living donor evaluation before transplantation. Although the majority of living donors have no complications, it is very important to understand that there is a risk of serious complications on living donors. What do you expect to see in living donor recovery? After surgery, donors stay in surgical ICU overnight. Donors usually stay in hospital about four to six days. After discharge, donors usually return to daily activities in about four weeks and return to work in two to three months. It is important to understand why living donor liver transplantation has not been done more commonly. Usually, patients feel uncomfortable to ask someone to be a living donor. Your physicians may have told you that your MERDO score is too low to have a liver transplantation. However, as I show you in this video, even your MERDO score is low, you have a significant risk of death or becoming too sick on the waiting list. If you have an earlier access to a living donor, rather than waiting for a deceased donor, you have a better chance to do well. Please remember, the longer you wait, the more you suffer. It is a real challenge to find a living donor. It is very important to start having conversation with your family and friends early on so that you can share your story in the early stage of your disease. You can also ask someone around you to spread your story. Then you can share your story with someone you have never met. Social media could be a very effective way to do so. Once people know how sick you are and what help you need, things may start going forward.
please don't give up. Living donor liver transplantation is not just an alternative, but something you may want to consider as an important option to save your life. Living donor liver transplantation can help you receive a life-saving liver transplant before you get to the point where the transplant is no longer the option for you. For more information, please visit our website or contact us. We are more than happy to help you whenever you need. Thank you for staying with me today. I hope this video helps you understand the importance of living donor liver transplantation in your care.